What we saw was that the manufacturers put a lot of emphasis on replacing old, worn out equipment, and that they've really finish their replacement cycles. So we've seen that, particularly in those big manufacturing sectors like, like industrial machinery or petroleum products or uh, transportation equipment, that the actual investment in new business, new property, new plant, new equipment actually contracted last month. And so that contraction just means that their order books are not full. They don't have this kind of uh, over, uh, you know, abundance of new orders to uh, fulfill, and as a result, they're not going to invest in further capacity expansion. And so that means that we'll continue this kind of slow growth, this kind of back to, the, to a slow, slow growth, kind of crawling growth economy that we've seen. And uh, it was, you know, it was a little bit of a surprise given the July numbers, which were so strong. Uh, having said that, we did see a little bit of a restatement in July downwards as well. So it's kind of like we're back to that slow growth, and, and it's growth nonetheless, but it's, it's back to the slow growth uh, Pace. Were there any industries that were standouts, manufacturing a bit of a disappointment, but was there anyone that showed stronger growth? Well, heavy construction showed some very strong growth. And uh, the agricultural producer, these are the farmers that produce cash grains, they produce livestock, are still the top growers in terms of investing in expanding their property, plant, equipment, tool services. And so those sectors are doing very, very well right now. And uh, I think it just uh, pinpoints the strong points of the U.S. economy right now. Uh, we also did see some expansion by the building contractors and the general contractors. So there is some housing work going on and that's a big positive as well. Uh, so we do see some bright, very, very bright spots for the economy. Uh, and this overall report at a 6% year-over-year growth is good. It's not bad. Um, we had, had you know, had seen a 10% growth last month, and so we were very optimistic that there was going to be some kind of momentum building here with this latest report. It's good. It's just not the kind of explosive growth that I think everybody's looking for.